Good evening once again. I'm Stephanie Rule here at MSNBC headquarters in New York City. And we got a lot of news, so let's get to it. A major development tonight in one of the special counsel's investigations into former President Donald Trump. And there he is. Federal prosecutors said today they will not pursue a campaign finance charge against former FTX co-founder Sam Bankman-Fried in the courtroom. What's amazing to me, Sam Bankman-Fried's PR guy for months kept saying to me, they're going to have to drop these campaign finance charges. And I was like, are you kidding me? This guy is guilty as charged. And alas, they're dropping them. Why? This alleged witness tampering and why the prosecutors want him stuck in jail. The prosecutor about Caroline Ellison, Sam Bankman-Fried's ex-girlfriend, the former head of the hedge fund. He's actually going to get his bail revoked. You, you heard this audible gasp. You know, in in the courtroom when that happened, I mean, that little Sam. He's been talking to journalists a ton. He's had a thousand phone calls with journalists since he's been put in house arrest. A thousand. One thousand. Okay. 1, he's sitting at his mom and dad's house playing video games. A thousand yes. phone calls with published when this trial is starting <laughs> in October, and a hundred with this reporter for the New York Court began that day. So it took them by surprise. I've watched this judge go back and forth with single day for Sam Bankman-Fried, for Donald Trump, two, at one point, very, very powerful men who believed they were above the law. We'll soon find out if they are. David Gura, a good friend of mine. And on that note, I wish you a very good night. From all of our colleagues across the networks of NBC News, thanks for staying up late. I'll see you at the end of tomorrow.